Hello, nerds. Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your week in nerddom gaming edition for the week of May 21st, 2018. This week in gaming, uh, we've got Death Stranding stuff. We've got Fortnite stuff. We have a lot of stuff going on in gaming. Let's get into the intro. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me and talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. Yeah. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Yeah, generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Before we get into the news, guys, we have to get into the sponsor. All of this week's episodes are going to be sponsored by Patreon.com slash Generally Nerdy. That is the Patreon page where you can go support the channel. Uh, it's broken down. There's four different tiers. $1 tier, $2 tier, $5, and $10. And even just the $1 tier, which is just the early access to all the videos and the complete uh, instructions on the Renaissance Nerd videos, even just that tier, which... I feel like that's worth a buck a month, right? It, you, because that's full instructions for Renaissance Nerd. That's not just the ingredients list like you get on the free version of those videos. Uh, so check it out, patreon.com slash generally nerdy. Link is right here on the screen. And now let's jump into some news. Coming out with the big guns. First things first, Death Stranding. Uh, before we get to E3 and Sony's pre-E3 presentation, there's going to be pre-E3 and then E3 and then the fallout thereafter. Before all of that happens, we got a little bit of a thing from Mads Mikkelsen, who is playing a character in the Death Stranding game. Uh, Guillermo del Toro is attached to it. We know Norman Reedus is attached to it. But Mads Mikkelsen was doing an interview, uh, I believe it was the, with the B... No, it was with a French uh, news website, uh, Premier. And he said that getting into character, working for Hideo, getting into character, his history as a dancer factored into that somehow. So, are we looking at a, a Psycho Mantis kind of thing? I, 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 that's just strangeness to contemplate. So, first thing out of the gate, I'm passing this one off to you guys. How is that going to factor into Mads Mikkelsen's character? Is he going to be a villain? We don't know. So, yeah, let's talk about that down in the comments section, guys. But that's all he was really, that's all he really said about it. So, there's not much else to speculate about. Next on our list, we're talking about jetpacks in Fortnite. Yes, they are coming back. Maybe. <laughs> That's a really, really strong likelihood, though. So we have some data, data miners who, the, they're the people that go through the uh, code, that break down the PC coding, and see the things. Because when, when you have a game like Fortnite that gets up, updated so often, um they start to give you bits of information in the, in the packs that you download. And then when something gets finally released, it's just that you got the last of the information. So they're building up to things digitally that we don't even know about unless you're a data miner. And we have some data miners that found some code that would suggest we are going to be getting jetpacks back before week uh, uh, before, yeah, week five of season four. So that's next week. So sometime this week, we're likely, or sometime next week, we're likely to be getting uh, uh, jetpacks back. That's great. <laughs> I feel like that is a is a great change. It's it's a great element to the gameplay. It's it's really fun to watch again because I can't play Fortnite. Uh, next on our list, we're talking about Batman and WB Montreal. Don't everybody get mad and start throwing things yet. So, if, for those of you that don't know, WB Montreal is the studio that brought us Batman Arkham Origins. Uh, they listed a they they posted a job listing recently that implies they might be working on another Batman game. 
Not explicitly though, just a DC. So the actual text in the job posting says uh, that they will work on uh, WB Montreal's open world AAA title based on one of DC Universe's most popular IPs. We know that the Batman series of games is done. Potentially, this could be an Arkham Origins 2. They ha there has been talk about that being a thing. Or this could be something unrelated to the Arkham games, which is what I'm hoping for. Because Arkham Origins was so subpar, especially when you compare it to uh, the actual Arkham games done by Naughty Dog, that it it's barely even worth mentioning in the same sentence. But if they're doing an original Batman game or potentially a Superman game, they could be doing Superman while uh, Naughty Dog is working on or Rocksteady. Not Rocksteady, not Naughty. Eh, both of them, whatever. Uh, they could be working on Superman while the Rocksteady Naughty Dog is working on... Um, not Naughty Dog, it's Rocksteady. Why do I keep saying that? <laughs> while Rocksteady is working on... A Justice League game that could be interesting. Hope, I, who knows though? WB Games keeps everything really close to the chest, so uh, we can only speculate at this point. Next, we got a preview for Soul Calibur 6 that unveils Yoshimitsu, one of my favorite Tekken characters, and also one of my favorite uh, Soul Calibur characters, since he's been in most of the games, he's almost every game since uh, Soul Calibur 2. Uh, they have a trailer, link in the description, where you can go watch Yoshimitsu in action in Soul Calibur 6. It's pretty great. I, he's, again, he's one of my favorite characters, so I'm pretty stoked about this. And then our last bit of news for gaming this week, seemingly very short, but we had five bits to talk about, so whatever. But our last bit of news this week, guys, is Halo at the Arcade. Uh, 343 Studios is working with a, a third-party developer to put out a Halo game in the arcade. The game is going to be called Halo Fireteam Raven. Uh, the time period in the mythology is right about the same time as Combat Evolved. I vaguely remember some sort of reference to Fireteam Raven, though I could be making that up in my head. Uh, it will be, for the first little while, the game will be exclusive to Dave and & Buster's, and it looks like it's going to be a rail shooter. Uh, it, four player cooperative and you have guns and so the 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 picture I'll see if I can find it and put it up wherever and it's it seems that you just sit in this really awesome unit and shoot stuff on just like time crisis and stuff like that so I don't know it could be cool I seriously doubt it though uh, it is halo though so we're probably gonna find a way to play it I'll Go to Dave and Buster's. That could be a great vlog, actually. Uh, but we'll see. But that, guys, is the end of the gaming episode this week. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. What did I miss this week in gaming? What should we talk about next week in gaming? Let me know in the comments down below. If, though, you want to go deeper into the conversation, jump over to the website. GenerallyNerdy.net is the place that you can get all of the freebies, all of the social media links, the links to the store so you can get your nerdy swag. Anything at all starts at GenerallyNerdy.net. Or you can support the channel a little more directly, like we talked about at the beginning of the episode. Patreon.com slash GenerallyNerdy is the place to go do that just a dollar a month gets you everything at least a day before the rest of the world uh, it also gets you the very exclusive uh, instructions for all of the food videos over on renaissance nerd check it out patreon.com slash generally nerdy if you are new to the channel click that subscribe button if you like the episode click the like button if you are falling behind on your nerd news and you want to catch up click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that but before we go before we click boxes and visit websites all of that stuff guys always always remember that if it's generally nerdy it's probably here